Hello everyone, I hope you've had a good week and that maybe you've found new ways of being creative or discovered something new. I hope so. I had today's craft in mind a few days ago, but I couldn't for the life of me remember what it was called in order to find some more instructions for it. When I searched, it seems it's called a God's Eye originally. Apparently, they were first used in Mexico in the 15th century by the Huichoy people, who made them when a child was born and added a layer each year as they believed this ensured a life of health and happiness. It was felt that in a world full of uncertainty, they provided knowledge and understanding. Now, I'm not promising for one moment that making one of these is going to ensure anything, um, but I thought they looked really pretty and you can make lots of different elaborate designs if you want to. That last point about providing knowledge and understanding in a time of uncertainty really resonated with me. There is so much uncertainty at the moment, isn't there? When will we go back to school? When will we be able to meet friends without worrying about two metres? When will this all go away? Will it come back again? It isn't possible to have answers to all of these questions and many others at the moment. While I was making this though, I was struck by how God is in this and does indeed see. He isn't far off and distant waiting for it to go away and for us to return to some kind of normal. He's right here with us, seeing us, loving us, interested in us and how we are, feeling our sadness, uncertainty and worries as well as our joys. Knowing that and knowing him doesn't take away my questions or my frustrations, but it does remind me that he provides all that we need at this time. Throughout the Bible, we're reminded that God is with us, that he never leaves us, that he cares for us and that he knows us inside out. Let me show you how I made this. So for this one, I've used lolly sticks. I've taken two lolly sticks and just stuck them together in the middle with a glue stick, a glue stick, a glue dot. And for this one, I'm just using two sticks from outside. Either is fine. You can use any kind of sticks that you like. And then you just need a few different colours of wool, whatever you might be able to find lying around. Now, you just need to start by securing the two bits of sticks. You can use more than two sticks as well, and it provides, it makes a different pattern. And um, so you can really play around with how many sticks, how many colours you use. So first of all, you just need to secure the two sticks together. Like I said, with this one, I used glue, uh, which makes it a little bit easier. And this one, I've just tied them together with string. And then when you're ready to start, if you hold it in one hand, and for each stick that you've got, you go round the stick and then over to the next stick. Round and over to the next stick. Round and over to the next stick. Round and over to the next stick. Now, I don't know if you can see how that's building up a pattern there in the middle. And the more you go around, the more you'll be able to see it. Now, it, it is fairly easy and then once you get into doing it, you sort of find you've got a rhythm and can go quite quickly. Um, but if you are struggling, then there are lots of other videos you could follow that probably be easier to follow than this one. So you just keep going. And so when you've got enough of what you want in the colour that you want in the middle, you just cut off your wool and then find another colour, whatever you fancy. And you're just going to join those two bits. together, just with a simple knot, and then you can just carry on until the new colour starts. If you want to be careful, you can keep the knot on the back of the pattern, so it ends up on the back of your creation, but it's not too much of a problem if you don't manage that. And the other thing that struck me as I was um, preparing this was that I don't know about you, but I find at the moment that I feel like sometimes I should have more time than I do. Um, and yet I still feel like I need to make time to just pause my mind, uh, sometimes from thinking about things I need to do, sometimes from thinking about the news, all the information that we're throwing about the current situation. And I'm not very good at doing that sometimes. And I find it really helpful to have something to keep my hands busy whilst I'm trying to rest my mind. Um, and I really pray that um, while you find somewhere to make one of these, that you would be able to pause as well. And remember that 
Okay, I'm gonna 